OK, so let's say we have a geometric sequence. The third term is 45 and the eighth term is 10,935. And we want to find the tenth term. In so doing, we want to start off by finding A and R. So we've got to convert these two bits of information into uh, two equations to work with. So if the third term is 45 and the eighth term is 10,935, then what this equation is telling me is that 45 using this formula here is equal to a times r to the n minus 1 and so 3 minus 1 is 2 so squared and the second bit of information is telling me that 10,935 is equal to a r to the n minus 1 and so that's a r to the 7 okay and these are the two equations that I now need to work with now, in order to solve equations of this form, what you need to spot is how we can divide one equation by the other in order to cancel out the a's. So you could divide equation 2 by equation 1, and we would get 10935 divided by 45 is equal to a r to the 7 over a r squared. Now, because why we did this was because the a's now cancel. You've got 10,935 divided by 45, and that's 243. r to the 7 divided by r squared is r to the 5. So you could then fifth root both sides. And the fifth root, um, fifth root of 2, 4, 3 is 3. And so that finds R, the common ratio. So with R in place, we can now find A by substituting that back into one of the two equations. So if I substitute it into this first one, we have A times 3 squared, so 9A must be 45. So 45 divided by 9 is 5. So that is A. So we now have A, we now have R. And so if I want to find the tenth term, then U10 is equal to A, so 5, times R, 3, to the n minus 1. And so that would be 9. So 5 times 3 to the power of 9 which is 98415. Now, you might be wondering, uh, did I need to find A in order to, in order to find the tenth term? Well, no, I don't, because, because um, if I didn't find A and I just had R, then I could multiply this by 3 to get the ninth term, and then I could multiply that by 3 to get the tenth term. However, that wouldn't be a good method to use if we were finding the hundredth term, for example. Um, so it would be, make much more sense to use the formula to do that. So that's why I showed you doing it that way.